So, winning this morning to Unreal from Blender, there are some basic good practices to have that I think everyone should know for your Unreal adventures. For those of you wondering, yes, I do plan to cover the Send to Unreal add-on in later videos, but first, I just wanted to cover the standard export methods because sometimes add-ons don't work, or they glitch, or they crash, or they stop being supported altogether. And because you can never really guarantee that an add-on will work all the time, I always think it's important to understand how to export things the old-fashioned way, just in case all else fails. So today we're going to talk about good practices to have before you send your objects to Unreal. Now, number one, always apply transformations before you export. Control A, all transformations, you're done. This guarantees that whatever changes you made to the position, rotation, and scale of an object will be reflected when you get to Unreal. When you export something to Unreal and then make a change in Blender, and you don't see that change reflected when you re-import it, it's probably because you forgot to apply transformations. Also, center your objects where you want the pivot point to be. The center of the world will become the pivot point of your object when you export. If your object's origin is to the left and below, that is where your origin is gonna be when it gets to Unreal. So if you have a missile launcher and the latches need to rotate in a specific pivot point, then the origin needs to be where you intend the rotation point to be. Otherwise, the pivot points might not be where you need them. Also, generally, parenting doesn't really transfer over from Blender to Unreal. If you have a single object like this and then send it to Unreal, it will probably get there the way you expect. But if you have multiple objects with one of them parented to another, if you export as an FBX, then in Unreal, it'll export each object separately. But you still won't get the parenting structure from Blender. They'll just appear as separate objects. Typically, to get parenting for basic objects, your most reliable bet is to export them them separately and just parent them in Unreal manually. So those are some good practices and info that you should know when you go back and forth between Unreal and Blender. Hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.